Welcome back guys, JC here, and here's how to power the SP Racing EVO flight controller. First you need to determine what type of ESCs you have. There are linear ESCs and there are opto ESCs. With linear ESCs, the uh, main power and ground wires will be wired into your PDB and that will power the ESC. Then the ESC has a VEC or voltage regulator that will step the voltage down to 5 volts and kick that 5 volts back out through this power wire. This power wire can be used to power the flight controller, but uh, I will go further into it in just a second. The other type of ESCs are opto ESCs. You can spot these easily because they only have two wires, a signal, and a ground. The reason for this is because they do not have that built-in voltage regulator, so with these types of ESCs you would have to use an additional 5 volt power source. So first let's talk about you linear ESC guys. If you look on the flight controller, you will see the output pins here, channel 1 to 8. And basically, with your ESC, you will have a white or yellow wire. And let's just say this is ESC number 1. So the signal wire will go on the signal pin for channel number 1, which is uh, all these uh, pins here closer to the center of the board are the signal pins. Then the power wire will go to uh, a power pin which is all of these middle pins and then the brown or black wire is the ground wire it goes to a ground pin which is all of these pins closest to the edge of the board. I've now wired my ESC into the PDB uh, with power and ground which will power the ESC and then on the flight controller like I said I have signal power and ground so now once I plug in a light bulb battery the power will go from the battery to the PDB to the ESC, the ESC will step the voltage down and go in and power the flight controller. Now the one thing I need to tell you is if you are using linear ESCs, do not use the power wire from all four or six or eight, however many ESCs you're using. You only need one of these power wires. So for the other ESCs, remove the red wire. You will still use the signal and the ground on all of the ESCs, but like I was saying, the rest of them, you, you won't have any more power wires. I have powered up flight controllers and flown quadcopters uh, with all the ESCs having the power wire. It will work, but it greatly in increases your chances of something frying. Now for you guys using opto ESCs, like I said, the ESC cannot provide the 5 volts that you need, so you will have to outsource it from somewhere else. Uh, the way most of us are doing it is using a PDB that has a 5 volt voltage regulator built in. So you can see here, I have a 5 volt regulator. Uh, this PDB also has a 12 volt regulator, but all you need is 5. And I'm just running a couple pieces of wire between the 5 volt regulator and the fly controller. The reason I am using channel number 8 is because uh, your opto ESCs, say you have a quadcopter with four motors, channels one to four will be taken. That will leave you with five to eight remaining. So really you could run the power and ground wire on any channel you want between five and eight. Or if you have a hexacopter then that will leave you with seven and eight and so on and so on. You get the idea. And that's basically it. Now this will not put voltage in beta flight, clean flight, telemetry, or an on-screen display. The next video, I will show you how to do that. Uh, so I will leave you with links to my uh, SP Racing Evo playlist, as well as a few other playlists in the top right of your screen and description below, where you can find that video and many others. So thanks for watching, and I will see you there.